Hello everyone. Welcome to session 15 of security testing video series. In this session, we are going to continue with the basics of security testing, where I'm going to explain what is cryptography and what are the different cryptography techniques. So let's get started. First of all, what is cryptography? Let me explain. So what is cryptography guys? Cryptography enables Cryptography enables secret communication between two parties. Okay, cryptography enables secret communication between two parties. Let's say there are two people and these two people are communicating to each other in some plain English. Let's say these two people are communicating with each other in plain English. Now there are other people also near to these people. Can these two, can the other people Understand what these two people are talking? Yes, because they are simply talking in plain English. So it's not a secret communication, guys. It's an open communication, you can say, right? But in case, in some cases, guys, let's say there are two people and uh, somehow these two people have implemented some or uh, designed some secret language and these two people are talking to each other in that secret language, whatever they have invented that no other person in the world knows. Now, no matter how many people are near to these two people, they will not understand what these two people are talking because that is a secret communication, guys. So enabling such kind of secret communication between two parties is known as cryptography. So hope you understood now what is cryptography. It's a secret communication. Enabling the secret communication between two parties, nothing but cryptography. So how is cryptography related to security testing? How this cryptography is related to security testing? Let me explain. For example, guys, there is a client. Uh, there is a, let's say there is a laptop. Okay, there is a laptop, guys. Uh, we can call this laptop as a client for now. And in this laptop, let's say this is your laptop, and you open one application. Fine. And uh, the application is like tutorials ninja. Dot com slash demo application. Okay. So the moment you hit this URL, guys, a request will be sent to the server. A request will be sent to the server, right? In the client, when you hit this URL, let's that is in the laptop. If you hit this URL, a request will be sent to the server. Which server? If you are hitting the tutorialsninja.com/demo uh, application, then the request will be sent to the which which application server? Tutorials Ninja application server, right? So, but guys, when this request is sent, whether this particular request what is the communication here, guys? Who are communicating here? In this case, this is a server, this is a client, right? Client is communicating, the client that is nothing but your laptop is communicating with the server. So there's some communication happening in the form of request. Whether this request is a secret communication or not. How to find it out, guys? Is this communication happening in a secret manner or not? How to find it out? Simple, guys. Open this application. In my laptop, I am doing this. Uh, okay, I'm just opening this application, tutorialsninja.com slash demo. Fine. Let's see whether this communication is secret or not. So when I hit this URL, guys, tutorialsninja.com slash demo, as you can see here, it's not a secured communication. Your connection to this site is not secured. Okay. It's clearly stating, guys, in Chrome browser, when you hit this application URL, it's clearly stating, stating that your connection to this site is not secured. That means this connection, okay, this request is not a secret communication. Fine, whatever they, that this particular client and server are talking is not secret thing. That means cryptography is not enabled here, right? Cryptography means enable secret communication between two parties. Here, secret communication is not there between this client and server, right? So similarly, I'll show you one another application, guys. Let's say I'll show you this amazon.com application. So when you hit this amazon.com URL, guys, whether this communication is secured or not, whether the communication that's happening between the client and server of this Amazon is secured or not, how to find it, guys? Here, not secured is not coming. Instead, some lock symbol is coming. When you click on the lock symbol, it's clearly saying that connection is secured, right? It's clearly saying that connection is secured. Whatever the communication that is happening with the Amazon, if amazon.com is opened in your laptop, guys, okay, in your laptop, a request will be sent to the server. That is Amazon application server, right? A request will be sent to the 
Amazon application server. Otherwise, I'll simply say Amazon server for now. Okay, this request is secured or not? Is a secret communication or not? This one is secret communication or not? How to find it out? Simple guys, when you hit the amazon.com, it's clearly telling you that this connection is secured, right? This is a secret connection only. This com communication is happening in a between the client and this Amazon server. The communication between the client and server of the Amazon is happening in a secret way because it's clearly saying here connection is secured. It's happening over a secured connection. But here, the, it's not a secured connection, guys. It's an open connection, okay? Open communication is happening here. So what's the problem between this uh, secret communication and non-secret communication? It's all about the hackers, guys. What hackers will do? Hackers will eavesdrop, right? Hackers will eavesdrop to this particular request and see if they can get any sensitive information from this request, fine? Let's say there are some situations where uh, from this uh, non-secured application, I mean, non-secured communication thing, when you are sending some credit card number, okay? As a request, uh, as a request, some credit card number is being sent. During the transit of this particular credit card number during this communication between the client and server guys, these hackers can eavesdrop and can find out your credit card number because this com connection between the client and server is not secre secured. It's not a secret connection guys. It's a non-secret communication is happening. Whereas in case of Amazon guys, uh, if you share the same credit card number with amazon.com, then Let's say while purchasing some order in amazon.com guys, okay? In amazon.com when you already decided to purchase something and when you want to place the order guys, in the payment gateway, you just sometimes select the credit card details. You will enter the credit card details, right? That credit card details will be sent to the server over this request. Since amazon.com is a kind of having the secured connection, amazon.com is having the secured connection, this request will be happening in a secret manner. Okay, your credit card will not be able to eavesdrop by the hacker. Hacker will not be able to understand what this request is. Okay, so because the communication between this client and server in case of Amazon is happening on a secret layer, some secret connection is happening. Okay, here it's not secret. If you share the same credit card details with 2000.com, hackers can find it out, guys. Fine, hope you understood. So here, guys, in case of this tutorialsinja.com slash demo, cryptography is not enabled or implemented. In case of Amazon, this cryptography is enabled, right? The secret communication between the two parties is happening in case of Amazon. So cryptography is enabled. Hope you understood something. But how this is uh, technically happening, guys? Okay, so in case of, in case of Tutorials Ninja, this is a client, right? Client, this is a server, a client and server. In case of Tutorials Ninja, guys, here, What's happening is when some credit card details are being sent from the client to the server over the request, this credit card details are directly, okay? Whatever the credit card details you are sending, right? They are visible here. Let's say this is your credit card number, okay? This credit card number is easily visible during the transit because this connection is not secured. Cryptography is not enabled in this case of uh, Tutorials Ninja. But in case of Amazon, what's happening, I'll tell you. In case of Amazon, a request is sent from the client to the server. A request is sent from the client to the server. Fine, a request is sent from the client to the server. So here, before sending this uh, credit card number from the client to the server, what Amazon does is it will encrypt guys, okay? Encrypted data will be sent. That means encrypted credit card details will be sent here over the request. Encrypted credit card details will be sent. The same number will not be sent as it is. So it will be encrypted first, okay? At the client side itself, this particular credit card number will be encrypted. Let's say it will be encrypted to something like this, okay? You will not understand, no one can understand. This is nothing but the encrypted, for this particular credit card number, this is an encrypted format, let's say, okay? Using some encryption methodology, Okay, Amazon is encrypting your credit card and during the transit, this particular text is being sent. That hacker, even though he gets this particular text during the request, you will not understand what is this. But here, credit card details are directly shown on the request, right? Here, hacker cannot find out what is this. Even though this is a credit card, it's in an encrypted format, this kind of encrypted thing will be 
sent to the server and server will decrypt it to get the original credit card number fine this this is known as cryptography guys so in cryptography what the applications are doing as part of security they are encrypting the data before sending it to the other party and then when the message encrypted message reaches the other party the other party will decrypt it okay so the application has a control of doing that encryption and decryption so in between while traveling right in transit right if even hacker will try to eavesdrop right he will not understand what that particular message is all about okay that is an encryption and decryption fine so encryption and decryption of data during communication between two parties that is known as cryptography guys hope you understood at a high level so how this encryption and decryption happen at a low level that i will be explaining in the next session guys in a detailed manner i'll explain where uh, the applications uh, implementing this cryptography right they will be using this encryption decryption with the help of some algorithms and keys guys okay there are some algorithms and keys that will be used by this uh, applications which are uh, encrypting the data and decrypting the data during the communication for secure connection fine so here is another thing that we observed right so for example here this is secured we are saying because uh, it has the connection is secured when you copy this guys when you copy this url and paste it here it is https s stands for secured okay normal http is not secured guys for example for example this application if you paste it uh, paste it here okay this application if you paste it here it has http http is not a secured protocol right whereas https is secured because of this s everything is changing guys so what is https https is equal to http plus ssl s stands for ssl guys secured socket layer okay so this particular communication is happening over this secured socket layer where this communication will happen in a encrypted format whatever the data that is sent from the client to the server will be encrypted format when the during the transit guys during the transit the communication will be encrypted guys fine secured socket layer or secret uh, communication or secured connection will communicate the data between the client and server during the transit it will be in encrypted format hope you understood fine so applications using https are secured because they are encrypting the data and sending that encrypted data over the request and server side it is getting decrypted so how that is happening how it is getting encrypted how it is getting decrypted with the help of algorithms and keys how that is happening in real that is that thing i will be explaining in the upcoming sessions guys okay in the upcoming sessions i will be explaining clearly how this encryption will happen in real how decryption will happen here how the algorithms and keys will play the role in case of encryption and decryption everything i will explain in the upcoming sessions fine so for now at a high level get there get an understanding of what is cryptography and uh, what is cryptography in terms of the applications like amazon cryptography is there because the connection is secured in this case of tutorialsinja.com cryptography is not there the communication uh, between the client and server is happening in a non secured layer where whatever the credit card details you are sending they are sent as it is the hacker can find it out right so this cryptography thing that is happening between the client and server or any other thing uh cryptography means secret communication right some crypto uh, some secret communication between two parties whatever it is so where you the third party should not understand what this uh, two parties are communicating so this can be implemented in different techniques using different techniques guys okay cryptography there are several techniques uh, it's a very vast subject guys cryptography itself is a very sub vast uh, subject but uh, at a high level guys if you have to understand what cryptography is at a high level this will be enough okay these are the few techniques cryptography techniques which uh, understanding guys uh, will help you in understanding the security testing in a better way fine so fine so cryptography techniques what are the different techniques in cryptography let me explain cryptography techniques what are the different techniques which will make this secret communication possible between the two parties okay cryptography techniques are the different techniques that will make the secret communication possible between the two parties so i can divide this techniques into three types at a high level one is encryption guys and uh, second one is uh, hashing and uh, the third one is uh, encoding okay third one is encoding so these are the different uh, cryptography techniques at a high level guys there are many other techniques 
many other cryptography techniques it's a very vast subject guys but as part of security testing is concerned for your knowledge guys this will be enough okay it will be enough to understand this cryptography techniques that is uh, encryption hashing and encoding under encryption we have other two types okay one is asymmetric sim one is symmetric encryption and other one is asymmetric encryption okay there are two types of uh, encryption again symmetric and asymmetric all these things guys all this uh, cryptography techniques i am going to explain in the upcoming sessions in a detailed manner each and every cryptography technique i am going to explain in a detailed manner in the upcoming session guys so for now you need to understand what exactly cryptography is and how it is related to the applications different web applications or whatever it is fine as part of encryption and decryption how the applications follow and what is https okay so how the encryption will happen in case of https all these things you understood in this session right and also you understood at a high level what are the different cryptography techniques these are the different cryptography techniques i'll be explaining each and every cryptography technique in a detailed manner in the upcoming session guys so that's all for this session guys see you in the next session thank you bye